In this video, we're going to cover uh, coding in statistics. So a lot of people really don't like to do coding because uh, it's tedious, you know, it has a lot of steps, but it's very simple. And the point of coding is to really uh, deal with these big numbers that we have and we condense them into a code. These intervals get condensed into a code, uh, which we denote as U and we deal with u's and the frequencies and figure out our mean, variance, and standard deviation. And then we'll go into a graphical representation of uh, these uh, values that we have here. So let's begin this question. So part A. Now the question is given uh, with uh, these two columns over here. But uh, I would advise you to add uh, these the next one, two, three, four, five columns to your table and fill them out and then have your net F U or U F and net U squared F. Uh, once you get these values, uh, you can apply the mean formula and the standard deviation or the variance formula to calculate those values. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is show a sample step of how to calculate this box, this box, this box, and the remaining boxes. So we'll, uh, we'll start off with this cell over here x x is the midpoint of the class interval in this case it's uh, the midpoint of this class interval which is 1.4130 plus 1.4134 over 2 which is equal to 1.4132 so that's 1.4132 u u is calculated by the formula x minus a over c x we have which is a value over here a is the value of the midpoint of the interval with the highest frequency so the interval that has the highest frequency right away we're going to denote as u equal to zero and when we define this we set a equal to the midpoint of this value. So the midpoint of this in this question would be 1.4152. Anyway, uh, so if we want to code, if you want to find this, find the value of u for this class interval, we're going to do x minus a over c. The c is uh, 1.41, the width. 1.4135 minus 1.4130 not the width between this number and this number but the width between this number and the next number that starts the next interval so in this case the c value is equal to 0 0.0005 okay so in this case u is equal to 1.4132 minus 1.4152 over 0 0.005. We have 1.4132 minus 1.4152. 0 0.0005 minus 4. See, we're just converting these long complicated numbers into a code and you'll realize that there will be patterns these will these numbers will increase by 0 0.0005 i think and this will be increasing by by uh plus one u times f so frequency right we the number of times um we have a uh, flower bag in this interval is 3. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. And then to get this value, we can either take the frequency and multiply it by minus 4 whole squared, or we can just multiply this column 
by this column. So anyway, 3 times 4 squared is uh, what? 16 times 3 is 48 or 4 times 12 is also 48. And this capital F stands for cumulative frequency. So this column would be uh, 3 because that is the cumulative after this interval. After this interval, it's 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. And then we have 23 plus 8 is 31. So on, so on, so on. And the last one should be 200 because there are 200 flower bags. And cumulative is 200. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out these uh, values. And in, when you're uh, doing this question in the midterm or the exam, you should show a side work of how you got these values and then uh, you can say following the above steps uh, I went on and calculated the rest of the values in the table okay so now I have filled out the table uh, using the side steps that I showed you you know a few seconds ago and now I'm gonna calculate the mean now you have to remember that uh, the mean of the u's is pretty much the u times frequency add them all up and divided by the number of uh, flower bags we have which is 200 so we're gonna multiply these and add them up therefore we're just gonna have this column over here u times frequency which is this column and we're gonna add them all up which is net uf which equals to 2 and then we have u squared times f we're gonna need this to calculate us variance which is 456 now the mean of u is simply 2 over 200 but we don't want the mean of u we want the mean of x x bar is equal to a which is 1.4152 which I explained earlier plus 0 0.0005 times net UF 2 over 200 it's simply 1.4152 if you approximate it you'll get this number because this number is so small I mean it'll probably be like uh, if we calculated 0 0.0005 divided by 100 2 over 2 2 over 200 uh, simplifies to 1 over 100 so so yeah that plus 1.4152 we have 1.4152 you can say that's our exact mean. Now the variance is equal to c squared times variance of u, which is 0 0.0005 times, I'm gonna write it here because I'm gonna run, run out of space, net u squared f minus net uf whole squared over n over n minus 1 so yeah this is our equation so but don't get so caught up in calculating this that you're gonna forget the c squared make sure you multiply the c squared or the variance of u we're gonna have 0 0.0005 squared times u squared f is 456 minus 2 squared over 200 over n minus 1 n is our number of uh, flower bags which is then equal to 57.8 or 
3919 times 10 to the power of minus 8 or you can write e minus 8 therefore our standard deviation is equal to square root of variance which is equal to 0 0.00076 so we got our variance and this is our standard deviation it's pretty f straightforward very simple coding isn't hard if you know the procedures the only thing is that you need to make sure you don't make any silly mistakes when calculating uh, you know the frequency times u or the adding up the u the net ufs and the net u squared f and uh, applying it in these equations the only thing you have to worry about is not making silly mistakes and coding will be just very straightforward easy marks so we'll go on to uh, the graphical representation part of this question